Hi, Bob Trake is editor of the Columbus Free Press, freepress.org. Uh, we just had an election yesterday here in uh, Columbus, Ohio. I thought I'd give you some initial uh, results of that. Uh, looks like the capital city uh, in the country's most famous battleground state uh, has gone uh, blue again. And uh, here's some uh, election results. Michael Komen, the moderate DLC Democratic Leadership Council mayor, won by nearly 40 points over Bill Todd, a Republican operative who has ties that goes to Karl Rove and the White House, and a man who acted as lawyer for various Republican uh, operatives and groups in Ohio during the infamous 2004 election. So Michael Komen trounces uh, the well-known Republican attorney, Bill Todd. That doesn't mean, of course, that Ohio uh, is moving strongly uh, in a progressive direction. Michael Komen is a very moderate man here in the Capitol. The good news in the council race, though, is that the leading vote getter is also the most progressive member of the Columbus City Council. Uh, we at the Free Press have applauded her work in the past, Charlita Tavares, very much in touch with the grassroots. Uh, the other three incumbent Dems were swept into office with her. Herschel Craig, uh, also a very progressive individual who had been appointed to council, uh, won his first election to the council. But lurking uh, not far behind uh, in the mix, were, of course, Michael Mental, the council president, uh, who's very much pro-development. And uh, uh, the good thing about the Democrats in Franklin County, when they sweep the council seats, uh, they'll represent the Republicans better than the Republicans could represent themselves when it comes to uh, uh, being developer-friendly. Uh, and finally, Andy Ginther, sort of uh, everything that's wrong with the Democratic Party. 32 years old, was appointed to school board, then appointed to council, really has no opinions other than what the special interests tell him. Right now, he's enthralled to the FOP, Fraternal Order of Police, uh, refuses to have a vote against the Iraq war. So, also elected to council, uh, a incredibly conservative Democrat, uh, really the embodiment of everything that's gutless and spineless about that party, Andy Ginther. Uh, we talk about the Gintherization of the Franklin County Democratic Party in honor of Andy Ginther, a great non-entity who lacks a spine. Other interesting things we might note quickly uh, is that at the Board of Education, a well-known political operative, a good friend of Senator Voinovich, Jeff Cabot, the man that made sure contracts were steered uh, to Democratic candidates as well as Republicans. Uh, he was really the Republican anchor there. He was unexpectedly upset by Gary Baker II and endorsed Democrat. So essentially, there are no Republicans on the Columbus School Board. Well, this really should have happened 20 years ago, since the district is majority minority, overwhelmingly it is a poor district. Overwhelmingly, it is a minority district. So finally, the last Republican, Jeff Cabot, uh, has been removed from the board. Uh, although uh, there is a black man who uh, is a Republican, Terry Boyd, that remains there, but he really downplays it. And most of his politics, you would never know that he's a Republican. So, lots of things happening uh, in central Ohio uh, with this recent election. The Democrats now solidly, so solidly in control of the capital city. Franklin County, of course, in 2006, went 58% for Ted Strickland, the moderate uh, Democrat. 
So the Republicans are being swept out. Just another note, interesting race, Steve Stivers, Senator Steve Stivers, uh, generally thought to be one of the great hopes of the Republican Party, socially liberal, but with credentials as a combat that has finally agreed to run against Mary Jo Kilroy. So that's a race we'll be watching here on Podcasting Truth to Power. It's Bob Fetrakis, editor of the freepress.org, Podcasting Truth to Power. Stay tuned.